CNBC's Jim Cramer calls Pelosi Crazy Nancy to her face, then blames Donald Trump for the nickname and books Jim Cramer called House Speaker Nancy Pelosi Crazy Nancy to her face Tuesday morning during a televised interview Sorry that was the president, Cramer said, having accidentally used President Donald Trump's nickname for the House Speaker Pelosi told Cramer that Trump uses the nickname because, he's the master of projection the president calls other people crazy because he knows he is, Pelosi said, adding that she had no plans to call him to work at a coronavirus deal Cramer faced accusations of misogyny and calls to be fired from the financial network, where he is the biggest star, but pushed back against critics by Nikki Schwab, senior U.S. Political reporter for DailyMail.com published, 1809 BST, the 15th of September 2020, updated, 2215 BST, the 15th of September 2020 CNBC's Jim Cramer called House Speaker Nancy Pelosi Crazy Nancy, to her face Tuesday morning, utilizing the nickname President Donald Trump has given her. Sorry, that was the President, Cramer immediately said after the slip. I have such reverence for the office, I would never use that term. Pelosi laughed and said, but you just did, but you just did, and then called Trump the master of projection. CNBC's Jim Cramer, left, called House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, right, Crazy Nancy, the nickname given to her by President Donald Trump. Cramer immediately walked back the comment Pelosi said that Trump, left, gave her the crazy Nancy nickname because he's the master of projection. He calls other people crazy because he knows he is, she said. Trump is photographed Tuesday with Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, right, Jim Cramer tried to walk back using the term crazy Nancy to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's face in an interview Tuesday saying that he found the Trump nickname horrifying let me just say this, anything the president says is a projection of his own insecurities. He calls other people crazy because he knows he is, she said. So anytime he says something you say, uh oh, that's what he's thinking of himself, she continued. Kramer tried to walk back his comments several times throughout the squawk on the street interview. You know, I was being facetious when I used the term involving you, he said. I respect you. Anyone who gives their life to public service and is Speaker of the House should not be called that name. I don't even want to use it again, he continued. Later he tweeted, it disgusts me that she is called Crazy Nancy. She has spent her whole life in public services. My critics didn't listen to why I mentioned it because it is horrifying. During the interview, Pelosi waved it off, saying she had great respect for the Mad Money host. Don't worry about that, she offered. Let that be your biggest problem today. Some of Pelosi's allies weren't so keen on letting Kramer off the hook. This is the end of Jim Cramer as a serious finance commentator. He might as well hang it up and go to work for Fox, tweeted former Democratic presidential candidate Howard Dean, sharing the video clip. Criticism, a series of Democratic commentators and Trump critics slammed Jim Cramer backing from Trump world, the president's supporters, including Ryan Fournier, of Students for Trump, reveled in the use of the nickname journalist Joan Walsh called it appalling, as Trump's out of the deal ghostwriter Tony Schwartz lambasted the president, saying he decimated civility and dragged all of us down with him. Example, CNBC's awful Jim Cramer calls Speaker Pelosi crazy Nancy to her face, as if that's okay to say to the Speaker of the House, Schwartz tweeted. During the interview, Pelosi also said she saw no point in calling up Trump in order to get another coronavirus relief bill deal. What is the point? She asked Cramer. The President has sent his representatives and if he has confidence in them, then I do too. She called out Trump for his deceptions and proclivity for lying. So if you're talking to him you're almost wasting your time, she said. Pelosi also pointed out that it had been under a year since she'd talked with Trump, having spoken to him last October and interacted with him at the early February State of the Union. Let's block ads. Why? Show your love for him. Click the link in description.
Thanks for watching.